And hello everybody, welcome to a new Let's Play series by Auxilius. I am playing as potentially the Tibetans in Rise and Fall of Civilization, Dawn of Civilization. Sorry, had to go a bit extreme and overboard there. And I was thinking maybe we'd play as Tibetans, yes. Because it'd be cool to try and do another historic victory uh, goal. See if we can acquire five cities by 1000 AD, spread Buddhism to 25% by 1400 AD, and settle five great prophets in Lhasa by 1700 AD. It's quite a tough one. The Tibetans would be a fun attempt, I think. So we're going to give him a go. Give them a go, sorry. We're going to play an epic. And yeah, we're just going to jump straight in. I want to see what we can do. Gives me another reason to play from the 600 AD start. And yet we'll see if we can then switch over to the Germans later in the game, if we survive that long. Um... That is going to be a while, though, because the Germans spawned at 1700. If not, we'll do a game starting at 1700 as the Germans. So here comes Tibet. Right. The Tibetan clans around Lhasa have been united, and the current weakness of the neighboring Chinese Tang and Indian Pala empires opens the opportunity to expand your empire from the Tibetan highlands and spread Buddhist teachings to the world. So our goal here is to convert everybody to peacemaking uh, with unpeaceful uh, means. So let's go for it. So Rasa, which is Lhasa, I believe. Or at least that's what it's meant to bear. So we've got open borders with him. Now, I believe we've got to play this very, very sort of gamey. We've got to game the system here. So let's just pick something to start with, yeah. And what do we need? So what do we need? We need to spread Buddhism across the world. So 25% of the world needs to be Buddhist by 1400. Not too difficult, I'm sure. Uh, we need five cities, which it's going to be a tough one. And the Dalai Lamas, we need to settle six great prophets in our capital, basically, by that time. So probably what we're going to want is... Do we have a Buddhist monk? We do! Oh, excellent. What we're going to want, then, to start with, is that and then that. So yeah, we'll start in that situation. We only have two Kampas, whereas the... Tibetans. I mean, the uh, the Chinese probably have quite a lot of troops. So I'm not very... Uh, I don't know if we're going to actually make that goal. But as I said, we can always switch. Now, the question actually here is, what do we want to prioritize? So we've got very little growth going on right now. So it might be wise to go over here and actually build the farms up to start with. Now, tech-wise, what do we want to go for? Probably stuff that's going to help us win wars. So, lances. So, what's the Kampa? It replaces the horse archer. Mm, heavy swordsman. Yeah, suppose. That's a long time to research, though. Fortification that gives us trebs. And trebs are always very helpful. Plus, we can get heavy swordsmen. So, let's go down that direction. So, we'll just be nice and peaceful with the, the Tang Empire for now. But we need to acquire... Yeah, five cities. I suppose we could always go to India. And we do have open borders here, so let's go for a little bit of exploration. So the Tibetan Empire, yes, yeah, so... I don't actually know too much about the Tibetan Empire. Oh, what is this? Is this potentially a really easy city to conquer? Hmm, potentially. Okay, so what does our unit actually give us? So we've got a unique unit known as the Kompa. Kompa. Okay, there it is. Uh, has really good city attack. Open terrain strength versus thingy, defense bonuses. Can explore rival territory. Oh, cool. So technically he can go in there anyways. Do we want to just go to war? I'll just try this? Maybe. All right, let's do it. What the hell, man? Because if we take this city, we're going to have a very good opportunity. No, we're not going to take this city now. Yeah, no, probably not. Mm. Bugger. Oh, that's a shame. Hmm. Maybe I should go back. <laughs> I was thinking of conquering uh, Indian cities, actually. Hmm. I'll just redo that. Alright, so we're going to continue where we... Uh, yeah, we left off. So we're not going to go to war with Tang, because they're extremely powerful. Um, instead, we're going to go and try and invade some independents. What I'm going to have to do, though, is I'm going to have to manually declare war on these independents. 
So if we go like that, yeah, because otherwise they can apparently travel right through their territory anyways, and it'd be much better if we can just go in and conquer them immediately. So we need five cities. Do we need to hold five cities? Yeah, cities acquired. Okay. Uh, that's not helpful. So let's go around. Um, but yeah, apparently India's pretty unprotected. So that's going to be really handy. Alright, we'll move you guys there. Uh, we'll head this way. There it is. So that city is going to be our target. Unfortunately, it is in a core area. But hey, it's the capital of Buddhism. And I think that's going to be a very nice addition to our empire. Alright, let's start getting that pasture up. We do have some swordsmen on the way. Alright, yeah, let's go straight in. See if we can be a short attack. Okay, that was not successful. This hopefully will be. Excellent. There we go. We've acquired the capital of the... I mean, the holy city, which is perfect. But yes, we are going to have to deal with these swordsmen, unfortunately. Hopefully, we'll just attack the city instead of uh, pillaging things. And yes, we are going to heal these guys up. And then we'll go next turn. Okay, so we're going straight into the city. Good. Yeah, Tibetan swordsman. It's not very handy. Not at all. Ooh. 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 Okay. Someone means business. Yikes. Okay, well, defend the city with your honor. Preferably. That could have been bad. Could still be bad, actually. Mm. Alright, you get city defense. Um, we'll probably need to get this incense hooked up as well. So let's do that. Um, I almost wonder if we should just get another archer out just to be safe. But we'll do that after we get this temple up. Alright, we want these guys to heal before we send them off as well. We probably want some units over here. So let's get an archer. Because, yeah, we want to protect this area now that we've got it. Because the Indians are going to pop up at some stage again. So we've got to be very wary. And hello, China. Yeah. Do, do, do. But we've got the capital, which means we're getting a ton of money, actually. Wow. That's good. All right, so there we go. What kind of policies are we running here? We've got a monarchy, a clergy. Makes sense. We've got conquest on, vassalage. We don't have anything going on here. Don't want caste system. That would suck. Uh, can capture workers. Ooh, nice. Quite to train workers. Pastures. We do have like two pastures. Yeah, maybe we're going to revolution for one turn. Um, but yeah, do we want to attack this as well? Yeah, unfortunately, I have to do that in order to go to war. So let's try and move some in here. Alright, next turn. Alright, what have we got here? Well, it's not looking too bad, actually. Let's go for it. Sweet. And then hopefully this will win it. Perfect. There we go. We'll build some more arches there. What are our historic areas here? So that's a historic area, that's a historic area. This is all core areas though, so we've got to be extremely careful. Uh, French civilization has arisen. Very good. Open terrain attack, like cavalry. I do like open terrain because it's very useful, but now we'll take the extra strength because it's universal. All right, let's send this guy back here as well, just so it's not too unhappy. Alright, there we go, got an archer. Hopefully you'll be able to defend that now. Actually, you can head over here. Hmm. You're about to get an archer as well. Fantastic. Delhi is about to become happy. And yeah, maybe we can think about attacking this as well. Alright, you're still building theatre. Perhaps we want you to actually get a... Militia? Hmm, militia is a bit lame. How about a catapult? That'll take a while. Yeah, 
theater's good. Well, then again, we don't want to give the city infrastructure if we're not going to have it forever. Um, but yeah, we can achieve this goal. City's acquired. I assume it's not in 1000 AD, so it's by. So if we get a settler going, and then we conquer this city. So yeah, you're building that. Maybe we want a skirmisher, actually. Skirmishers are quite good at taking out archers, I think. Are they? Hills attack. Causes collateral. Well, it causes collateral damage. That's good enough for me. Yeah, I'd say we probably do want a settler. Because then we can settle up here, maybe, as well. Um, which will be really good for us. Do you want to just finish that archer, though? Just. Nah, well. Yeah. What's our ability? What abilities do we have, actually? We, I believe we've got the ability to produce lots of uh, missionaries quite quickly. So getting that uh, monastery up and running is also going to be really useful. Right, so you're now fully healed. Okay, they do have stuff there now. So yeah, we're definitely probably going to need to get that going. Get a nice catapult. Alright, you're teasing. That's great. <laughs> Come on, buddy. 3% chance of failure. Okay, good. A lot of luck in this game. I'll say that. Do 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 do. Alright, building a settler. It's not the greatest thing ever. Alright, so we've got a road there now, so we've hooked up that. We will have more attacks from Tibetan swordsmen, but we can go over here and get some more horsemen. Hmm. Do we want some walls, maybe? I think two archers will be enough. We've got one that can defend the city quite easily as well. So I think we're actually fine for the time being. Hopefully he'll just attack that city. There we go. You're fully healed. And yeah, you can start on the pasture there. Which we will get benefits from. Yeah, he'll probably pillage that. Yeah, as you can expect. How are we doing for food? Yeah, we're not growing very quickly. Pillage everything, isn't he? Pain. Well, what I might do then is do one more turn of this and then just pull them back into the city, get them to attack us. Alright. So they've got another unit in that city. Perfect. Alright. This guy could probably do a bit of damage. It's not that great. War Elephant would be wonderful. Oof. Yeah, that would be wonderful. It'd be nice to attack you, but I can't. Ah, oh, there we go. Good, there we go. That's what we wanted. Okay. Let's get a road then. Excellent. Hopefully that means eventually we'll start to be able to produce uh, some great people. Now let's always keep this in production mode. Mm, I need to go and take this city. So this is our Tibetan Empire. Holy Roman Empire has risen. I don't know how I'm getting the settler back home though. That's the only problem. <laughs> well, that's one of the only problems. Um, jail. No, we do want a library. I believe that's going to be crucial. We've got here. Why do you hate us? Oh, different religions. Yeah, I know. Pretty sad, man. Pretty upsetting. Indeed. So you're getting a settler, and then you'll get a catapult. Perfect. Right, I believe our stability's fine, though. Well, for now. Good, we've got more roads going on here. Probably even be good actually to get some more of those units of ours. Oh, 20 turns though. I don't think that's a good idea. Getting in the library is going to be a lot more efficient. Alright, so you can build up that pasture again because we're going to get benefits from it. Cool. Cool. We need to attack the city. Wow, that unit has got a lot of good stuff going for it. That's amazing. But yeah, if we can build these war elephants, <clears throat> we've got a settler now. 
beautiful. And that will count towards our goal. Unfortunately. Oh, well, we could settle here. Yeah, technically I could. I don't really want to settle up here, to be honest. And Yeah, that's fine, but... Yeah, I could just settle here. It's a foreign area, but it's not in a core area. Why not? At least then we'll be able to contest the Indians. When they do come up. Or Mughals, whoever it is. So yeah, that'll be... Does it have to be conquered? It just says acquired. Does this count as an acquired city? Hopefully. Uh, oh, we can very quickly just pump out some skirmishes. Beautiful. Yeah, there we go. So that's four out of five. We could probably go in for this now. That's probably a really good idea. Hmm. I mean, I could try to take that guy out. I'm not sure if it would work, though. Alright, well, let's go next turn anyways. Yeah, he's not staying. Oh, we got a great profit! Unfortunately, we can't get him to that city. Hmm. Why not? Is it because it's independent territory? Yeah, it is. Alright, cool. So just do that. And we'll send him this way. Mm, hopefully make it. Yeah, he'll make it. Okay, good. Good, that's our first great profit. Alright. You go for the initial attack. In the this might not actually work out very well. <sighs> okay. Okay, that's a victory. <sighs> Shoot. We're probably not going to be able to do this, are we? Well, then again, here we go. Oh, death for glory. <gasps> we did it. Excellent. There you go. Look at that glory. Alright, so there we go. That should be now. It's accomplished. It's done. So we don't have to keep our empire now. Oh, that was amazing. Can't believe how difficult that was. Wow. Yeah, there's no way we're keeping our empire, though. Doesn't mean we can't, like, I don't know. Do stuff with it though. Because we've got this city as well. Oh crap. Uh, actually, no. Get out of there. Plus, that's going to overextend us if we try to keep it. So, yeah, get the hell out of there. Okay, so we've got two Tibetan swordsmen. Yeah, we know what they're going to be doing. Oh, actually, it might be a bit risky actually trying to send them home. But there's our Tibetan Empire, that's really cool. Awesome. Oh, he's, yeah, he's moving around. Grr. How dare he? How dare he? Right, three turns to a war elephant. Do we really need this catapult? We don't, do we? No, you know what? Screw it. Screw the, um, the elephant. Let's produce a... What should we produce? I guess a theater. We were building one. We might as well finish. Oh, actually, no, because I don't want to give culture buildings to them. What I would like to do, though, is get some units for defense. Some more elephants would be good, actually. Yeah, let's get some more. Oh, good. He attacked. I don't want him purging my stuff, but I can't attack him. Good. Well done. Alright, so now we can actually start spreading some Buddhism around, although it'd be nice to get a forge. Actually, and a theater. Let's get a theater first. You can start working on that. I'm actually going to give you the ability to, you know, have a bit more if you want. Mm, you don't actually have a lot of production around, do you? Alright, so turn on auto assignment. Cool. Unfortunately, there's no way to keep this connected to us, but yeah. What can you do? What can you do? Religious victory. 
I spread on the world. Buddhism spread. Yeah, it's spreading. Dang. You know, we should we should actually keep spreading it then. Yeah, we'll just get a ton of these guys out and just use them. Alright, so you can actually now safely walk back up here. Once we've got that war elephant, I'm going to send that back this way as well. And yeah, we're going to try and get this war elephant. Actually, it'd be nice to get more great profits. Hmm. Yes, starvation. Ah. Oh, actually. Oh. Yeah, this place isn't doing too hot, is it? There we go. So 22 turns to another great person. Probably not going to make it. You're fine. You've got two turns to get that war elephant. You know what? You're probably not going to make it either, so let's get you making something that's actually a bit more on the cards. You know, like a catapult. It's useful. I know. Should be prioritizing better. Micromanaging. Mm -hmm. Alright, there we go. So settle him down. So we've got our first, like, I guess, Dalai Lama. That should count as one. There you go. Perfect. Right, this place is stagnant. Yeah, it needs it just needs that farm up. Alright, next turn. Hopefully we don't get too many more swordsmen just appearing out of nowhere. Alright. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna send these guys back. And I'll probably move you forward to here. Yeah, see if you can get back faster. But yeah, you're all gonna head back this way now. We are now building for our own culture. Because we've achieved our first historic goal. Which is really cool. I didn't think we'd actually achieve that, because I was thinking, oh no, we've got to invade China. That's going to suck. And, well, we didn't have to invade China. What do you know? We might still have to invade China at some point, though. It's probably guaranteed. Alright, so skirmish is still there, that's cool. Keep going. Oh yeah, they're getting a bit more yeah, confident with their attacks now. We've got city defense. Oh Yeah, but they could be going here. Well then let's keep the elephant around. And let's move this way. Okay, you keep building the road up. Okay, there we go. So that's the attack being performed. Oh, he's taking it back, yeah. Oh no, we got an archer in time, that's right. Oh, we could build some Kampa. Please do. Yeah, you head to there. You're actually going to still continue on this way. Because I'd much, i love to have an elephant just you know, casually up here in the Tibetan Plateau. I'd love to keep this city, because this city is giving us lots and lots of gold. But yeah, that's probably not likely. Congratulations, you've been defeated. Sweet. Right. Do I dare branch out a bit and go to here? Probably. Culture is going good there. Just lovely. Okay, Mandi. Mandi civilization is rising. Plantation. There we go. So now you can head to here and hopefully you'll be able to convert. Hopefully. Okay, they are definitely, yeah, they're, they're pretty dedicated here to attempting to conquer that. What I might do is just pull back this way, although they might be able to actually catch up to us there. Yeah, so let them have it. That's fine. It's not the greatest city in the world. Ooh, nasty. Mm. Okay, 
that's less than good. I'd much rather not lose it all at once, thank you. Okay, there we go. So things are now going down. Oh, well, we got a great general. That's, you know, that's not bad. Pop him down in the city. And yeah, our cavalry is actually really good against this, uh, this infantry. Oh, failed to spread. Great. Thank you. Just love it when it does that. Alright, you just stay there. Oh, it would be nice to keep this. Are we really collapsing? What? It's stable. Oh, yeah. Overextended as hell. Right, I actually wonder if we'd be able to defend from these swordsmen if I just put this guy out here. It might be a bad idea. I might need to just wait for these elephants to return. So yeah, let's just do that. Alright, I've still got this. Which technically has a lot of food. Very nice. Ooh, we can actually get him in there. Right, I believe this guy causes collateral damage, so... Maybe not. Oh, cool. Still one. Perfect. Extremely useful elephant. Yeah, just go spread naturally. Or, you know, don't, because... Dude. There you go. Head over to the. So this elephant's now good at. Well... Oh wow! Tibetan revolts occurred in Delhi. Sweet. I didn't realize our culture had spread that well over there. Yeah. Apparently it has. Okay, this city's screwed. There we go. Now we've spread it. 14% of the load. Yeah, jeez, we've got a long way to go. Maybe I should just get a forge first then. Yeah. It'll also be really nice to get a granary. Granary, for mm, forge first? Granary? Now, granary first, forge second, and then, yeah, and then we'll just go for lots of these guys. Yeah, I think this city's unfortunately screwed. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, oh, well, what a pity. At least our overextension isn't going to be bad. Oh, that's, you know. That's a bonus. Granary is being built. Sort our food. Because we need, we honestly do need food up here. Yeah, and you can also build that. Because if we have lots of roads over here, we're going to be able to engage any rebellious uh, barbarians that pop up. I do want to go back down here though and conquer that, because that city is really good. Like it's actually amazing. I can't really focus on growing, it's fine. But now that we've got the granary that's going to be extremely useful. I suppose we could build a farm over here. We can build a fort over here. Actually forts are really good, because when we've got vassalage that's going to give us bonuses. Let's go do that. Alright, so borders are still expanding. Let's try and get a priest. Yeah, let's, let's get a priest being worked on. Because I would like more great prophets. Alright, there's another naughty person. I'm not 
sure if we'll actually succeed here. Because, I mean, it's still, what, like, 75% chance of victory? A guaranteed victory. It's just very highly likely chance of victory. Alright, we'll wait for him to attack us, then. We'll wait for him to move a bit. Yeah, you still can't really do anything. Alright, let's try it. Yeah, I think we've lost it. <sighs> there goes a wonderful elephant. Yeah, so we are going to need an extra unit over here. Ugh. Let's get that forge done then. It was nice when we had an empire. Perhaps, maybe we might need a another one of these dudes. Specialist from Wonders and Civics? Wonders? Do we have Wonders? Oh, it's probably just a Civic, yeah. Right, you finish that guy. And then, yeah, maybe grab that, and then we'll grab some more of these dudes. Basic defense. Super duper handy. Right. There we go. We've got a nice fortification there now. I suppose we'll build a road there as well. Send you to here. Hopefully spread. There we go. Beautiful. Just spread that to there. 30% still. Oh. What was the year we had to do it by? 1400. Well, we could probably do it. Also, our end goal is when the uh, the Germans arrive, so that's going to be great. We do need to watch out for the Mongols, though. They are the exception. In the meaning. All right, so you guys have finished that. I suppose now you can go and use the one remaining tile that's actually useful for us. Sweet. So we now have the ability to, I guess, change our stuff if we wanted. <gasps> Baropador! I think I want that. Hells yeah. <laughs> Become a republic. Um, per specialist. This one from farm. Well, that's not very nice. Hmm. Meh. <laughs> it's just meh. Next turn. I almost wonder if we should go back and try and reclaim the city. Because India's going to rise up eventually. Oh, look, a Chinese city. I love it, though, because we are in a really good defensive um, region. So no matter what, we're going to be in a really good spot. Right, why is our stability still sucking? No, no. Wait, what? We are stable, though. Oh, there we go. Boom. That was really good. If we'd had radio, well, we would have gotten an even bigger bonus. We didn't have radio. I've been terrain attack. Let me get that. Alright, let's uh, get one of these again first, and then we'll go for another. Yep. Yeah. I don't have despotism. Yeah, we are expanding our borders, though, which is good. Our influence is actually really quite high. But yeah, I would like to grow primarily, if, if at all possible. I don't want to put that up there. Yeah, at least desert tiles can be really terrible for a very long time. And we don't really have any food tiles to actually move to. So we can't put any windmills anywhere. We can put more forts around, though. So maybe a fort here? Yeah, okay. Depending, though, there might be more barbarians that pop up. Gotta be vigilant. Yeah. Make it a serviceable tile. Yeah, plague would devastate us, actually. Wow, look how big China's getting in terms of power. The Italians have arisen. Well, let's go travel through their territory. 
I think missionaries are actually immune. Yeah, at least I think. How are we doing? 14%, hey, Buddhism spreading. This is good. We could build the Hameji Castle. Hmm. We, we actually could. You know, maybe we will. What do you need? Copper. Well, we don't have copper. I don't think there's copper anywhere nearby, actually. Yeah. Some obscure location will have it. Politics for fortification. I think I might accept, actually. Really? Just give me that? Oh, actually. There it is. That's what we really want. So let's go for... Yeah, go for machinery next, because we need windmills. Let's actually build the Baropador. Baropador. Wish we had some stone. Some stone. Because Baropador, I believe, gives us a bonus to something. Really good. Plus one production from priests in all cities. Oh, pff. amazing. There we go. We spread that. Looks like China will trade some stuff. They're like, oh, but you should give us stuff. Yeah, for gold. We do have a lot of gold, might as well use it. Maybe I should just get machinery. Because then we can build those water mills and windmills and stuff. Yeah, alright. What about guilds? No. Alchemy? Nah. We only pulled like a turn into it anyway, so it's fine. Civil service. Oh, if we can get that as well. Oh, please. So yeah, we'll build another fort here anyways, just for barbarians and stuff. This is kind of, yeah, this is going to work out. Unless we get invaded by China or the Mongols, which... Yee, Mongols are actually arriving very soon. We'll be very careful. Could have just played as the Mongols. Oh, I get the feeling the Mongols are going to declare war on us. Ooh. We might actually need to just quickly get some walls up then. Oh boy. I mean, if we're careful enough, we can stave off of invasion. We'll take it versus, I think, light cavalry. Yeah. Well, let's build those walls. We're gonna build some walls. Oh, we've already got a wall. <laughs> Technically, we partially have a wall up there. Um, yeah, that's a very handy wall to have, actually. I don't know if I'll build a road over here. But yeah, I would like to build some windmills. So yeah, build me a windmill there. And then, well, I guess you can both build me it. Alright, so the Indian peoples, the Gorid peoples have arrived. The Mughals. Oh, pardon me. The Mughals. Oh, Mughals would be really fun to play. But no, not in this game. Hey, dude. Yeah. It's fine. There you go. You can do it as well. So yeah, walls will just be really helpful. And then we'll go for Goropador. <laughs> Plus, now we have the Mongols, who have uh, also got Buddhism, I believe. Yes. Which is Oshlo. Mughals will open borders. Let's get some trade. Yeah, buddy. Well, we're trading with China, but, you know. For when China is uh, destroyed. <laughs> yeah, there, there are the Mongols. I mean, we've got a half-decent force here. We could probably defend against stuff. I'm not too worried. I probably should be more worried. But I'm not too worried. But yeah, this is probably where I should put in the cut in the episode, actually, guys. So, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.